Good morning and welcome to this morning's webinar on Park My Truck, the NASA Foundation's new highway safety initiative developed to help professional drivers find available truck parking. This morning, myself, Amy Toner, and Taryn Bryce Rowan will provide the demo. Let's start by talking about what it is. Park My Truck was developed by the truck stop industry in conjunction with our trucking partners based on feedback from professional drivers and trucking companies who often describe truck parking availability as a critical need. It's free for drivers to download and free for parking providers to participate. And most importantly, it's a new, exciting way for drivers to find your truck stop. You know, this, this initiative is very important for the industry. Um, we we want to talk about why you should participate. Participation shows your commitment to provide safe, reliable parking for your customers. The success of the app really um, hinges on everyone working together and supplying their truck parking information. And it's free and simple. All you need is internet and the ability to count. It was developed by the NATSO Foundation, NATSO, the American Trucking Association, and ATRI. We initially launched the app on October 3rd. You can find it in the App Store and the Google Play Store, and you can find links to that at www.parkmytrucks.com. Uh, now I'm going to turn it over to Taryn to show us what the app looks like and what the customer or the truck stop entry looks like. Great. Looks like it's time to the app now. First, we're going to focus on what your customer sees, and then after looking at the app itself, I'll walk you through the web pages that you and your employees will use so you add the information that drivers see. So when you first open the app, you see this initial message for drivers just reminding them to be responsible, drive responsibly, and not use the app while driving. So after the safety message, drivers are initially taken to the home screen that we also call the location listing on the menu. On this screen, drivers are initially provided with basic info about parking providers within 50 miles of their current location. They can choose to see providers up to 250 miles away in other states and along certain interstates. Just want to note that after two hours, your available parking will be listed as not applicable until after you update your availability. On the location detail, there will be a timestamp showing when the last update was made. When you click on one of the locations, the app takes you to the location detail page, which we'll see next. As you can see, it's a lot of the basic additional information that drivers want to see, including address, phone number, and that timestamp indicating when the last update was made. The great thing about this page is that drivers can push the call button for their phone to automatically call the location or click the navigate button, and the app will open their default navigation app and get them on their way with directions. One last screen available to drivers is the map page that shows drivers which parking providers are nearby. When they click on a pin, it gives them the name of the location, and the number of open spaces with a link to that location's listing page. This app success hinges on our ability to listen to and respond to both you, our parking providers, and to your customers, the professional drivers. To facilitate this, we've added a feedback form so that drivers can submit their, their thoughts, ideas, and concerns. We have every intention of providing excellent customer service for the app so that you guys don't have to worry about taking on an additional burden of supporting it as well. With that said, we can definitely pass feedback along when fitting. All right, so now it's time to look at what you will see as the parking provider. So on this first page, you just actually, it's just uh, showing the URL, the link that you would use to type in and get to, to, the, to the portal. So this is the first screen that you and your employees will see in our web portal. We can talk through the login needs of your specific location when we get you set up, but I do want to flag that every account requires a unique email address to be used for the username. This is so that our users can reset their passwords at any time without any intervention on our part using the email address on file. On this screen, there's also an option to send us feedback using the form because we want to make it easy for you guys to share your thoughts on the system with us so we can make it better together. We have two types of users, admins and, admins and standard users. Admins have the option to both edit the facility's information and update parking availability, whereas standard users can only update availability. So this is the, what you would see if you were to click on Facility Administration. On this page, note you 
this is basic information that probably was changed once in a blue moon, but we want to make sure you have complete control over it. When you initially get this set up, you should definitely check and edit the description field. And there you should add the interstate and exit number. You want to change your hours of service, verify that the total spaces are correct, and then add whatever interstate your locations are listed on. That way when drivers filter down by interstate, your location is listed. In order to finish this process, you just hit the Update Facility button. All right, great. So this is the next stage. This is what folks will see when they're actually updating the parking count entry. You'll notice that drop down at the top, you just click it, select your location if you have more than one, enter the number of spaces, hit submit, and that's, you're done, that's it. So next steps, if you guys are interested in signing up, you can contact me, Taryn, at 855-650-6935 or at the email address below, hello at parkmytruck.com. All right, now we're going to go through some frequently asked questions that we've gotten on the app. The first one is how often and when to enter. We are recommending that you enter the information every two hours at a minimum and between the hours of 3 p.m. and 11 p.m. All right, what you're going to need to input your data. You just basically need the username and password that I'll help you set up and then internet service. The speed doesn't matter and you just need to be on any device that has an internet browser. We've been asked a lot if you have to enter the actual number. We definitely prefer that you enter the actual number, but if you're not able to, it's okay to give a close estimate. Also, we've been asked whether you need to put a number in or you can put a descriptive, like small, and you do need to put a number. All right, so folks have been asking about who's listed on the app. We've partnered with the Trucker's Friend directory to list all the truck stops that they, they possess in there database. This includes more than 4,500 locations in 49 states. So we're listing all truck stop locations regardless of whether or not they're NASA members and everybody's treated the same. We're also working on adding state DOTs to include their rest areas. You can call the NASA office at the number and email listed here Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with questions or any help that you need. All right, so we've been asked a lot about if there's crowdsourcing. The answer quite simply is no. Drivers will not be able to input parking, and we, we choose to do this because what differentiates us from other apps in the market is, is that drivers are, will know that the information is reliable because it's coming directly from the parking providers. We also have no plans to allow drivers to review after your, any locations through the app. All right, now we'll take some questions. First question is will it include any type of amenities, for example, showers? Want to take that one? Sure. At this time, we do not plan to include amenities at the time of launch, but it's always something we could include in the future. Will drivers be able to reserve or pay for parking? No, drivers will not be able to reserve or pay for parking. They can see the available spots and the total spots. Will there be advertising opportunities within the app, Taryn? Not at this time, but we're always considering opportunities for the future. Is there a cost to participate? No, the app is free for both drivers and parking providers. Will the app show when the last update was made? It sure will. If you go to the location listing page, there it will show regardless of when the last update was, it'll show the number of spaces that were available at that time as well as when it was last reported. These are all Taryn questions. <laughs> Is there a way to use technology to automatically update our parking availability? Again, a great question. Um, we do have a very basic API that will allow parking counts to be transmitted. Um, for those of you who are wondering a little bit more about this, if you have your own app, you could put the information in once and send it to us, or if you decide to go the hardware route in the future where you want some sort of system that automatically counts and reports it, that can also work as well with this. Can there be multiple accounts? Yes, yes, we actually <laughs> recommend it. We recommend at least one admin account that'll allow for you folks to edit the facility's information. And then we recommend at least one account per location that's just a standard user so folks have the option to, and the, the capability to enter the number of parking spaces without editing 
any kind of facility information. Okay, and I'll take this last question is, will our truck stops still be listed if we do not provide any updates? And the answer is yes. Every, all the truck stops in the U.S. will be listed, whether or not uh, the truck stop is participating or not. And that's it. Here's our contact information. Definitely reach out to Taryn with questions on how to participate and to sign up. Thank you. Thank you very much.